If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Smart Zone controller based on a high skill deployment of the Smart Zone 5.2 release. The videos in this series will show the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, we will show the process for creating and connecting to a WLAN utilizing web authentication. Let's get started. In a previous video, we created a web authentication portal called Test Portal, and we applied that under Demo Zone 1, so that configuration has already been completed. Uh, this system is also already configured with a proxy authenticator. Um, in this case, it is Radius. So our next step is to create a web authentication WLAN. So we're gonna go under Wireless LANs. Uh, we're gonna expand Demo Domain 1, Demo Zone 1, and you can see we've got a few WLANs here that exist already. We're gonna create a new one by clicking the Create button. Under Create WLAN Configuration, we're gonna name this. We're gonna name it uh, Test Web Auth. Uh, which well, we're going to go ahead and use that as the SSID as well. Um, we're not going to put a description. We could. Um, this, again, applies to Demo Zone 1, and uh, we, we are putting this into the Corp WLAN group. Again, we talked about uh, WLAN groups and access point groups in a different video, so check those out if you want to get more information. Um, then coming down under our th authentication options, uh, this is where we're going to select web authentication. You'll notice dynamically the authentication and accounting service field showed up as soon as we selected web authentication. Uh, we're going to set our method to open and we're going to set the encryption option to none. And let's go down here and take a look at our authentication and accounting service options. So the web authentication portal currently already says test portal in it because we've already defined it for the zone and that is what is selected here. So um, this is the only particular portal that we can select. It's the one we created in a previous video. Um, so this is the selection that we're going to make um, so that we can tie this WLAN to that portal. Notice that bypass CNA is enabled by default. Uh, CNA stands for Captive Network Assistant. And this is something that um, particularly Apple devices utilize. So a Apple device doing CNA uh, can detect when it is accessing um, via a portal and it will try to do some checks on its own. Um, and if it can reach the sites that it needs to check, it will assume that it has internet access and it will cease trying to um, utilize further captive network portal attempts. So uh, we are bypassing CNA in this, in this um, instance and we are utilizing portal detection and suppression. Uh, we have the system default selected here. Uh, additional portal detection and suppression profiles could be defined, um, but the system default is gonna work for what we need. So with bypass CNA enabled, um, we have to open up a web browser and try to authenticate to a uh, page and then get redirected uh, finally to our web auth portal. So um, additionally, we need to define some authentication service. So as I stated earlier, we are use, using the smart zone proxy uh, to a radius server. So I'm going to use controller as a proxy and enable that. And then from our dropdown, I am going to select the radius server that we have defined. So again, that radius server is already configured and it has a user account um, on it. So um, that's the one we're gonna select. Um, you could further set up some other options here. We've discussed some of these options in the creating a standard WLAN. We're not going to go through any additional options. These are the ones that we're going to apply to this particular WLAN. So we're going to select OK. So you can see that we now have a test web auth WLAN. Uh, this LAN has been configured for web authentication. The next step is going to be uh, to try to connect to it and see what that process looks like. So we're going to utilize our mobile phone and uh, take a look at the connection process. So on the mobile phone, you can see that we do indeed have a test web auth wireless LAN. So we're going to connect to that. Um, we may get a message that um, it's the Internet's not available yet. So we're going to switch to a browser and we're going to try to navigate to a website. So let's try to go to wifi.org. Nope. All right. Fingers are a little bit big here. So wifi.org and you can see that we should be redirected directly to the web portal. 
So here we are, we can see the web portal. Let's authenticate with our Radius account. So user one and the password for user one is login. So uh, again, so we were trying to go to wifi.org and we were redirected to Comscope. Again, the redirect is something that we set up in the web authentication portal. So we can see at this time that this is working as intended. Now that the client has connected and authenticated and been redirected, uh, we don't have anything else further preventing them from continuing to browse, but we can view their status. So we're gonna go over to clients and choose wireless clients, and we can see the device that connected. So we can see that it is a phone that connected to the test web auth WLAN. If we select that particular device and we scroll down here in the general tab, we can see the authentication method was web auth, and we can see the auth status as authorized. Thank you for taking the time to view this brief demonstration, and we hope that you can catch more videos in our SmartZone 5.2 demo series.